Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to go over how we built this sliding board. So I've had a few people send me messages about the board and how we built it and what it's made of. So I just figured I'd make a video and make it easier for everyone. As you can see behind me, the stoppers are positioned in a way that mimics the crease. Um, you can position them differently if you want to, or you can omit them completely. I'll post the list here of all the items that I used. I'll also write the items down in the description below. Once you bought all of your items and you figured out if you want the stoppers or where you want them, then we can get started. Obviously, you're just going to start by putting both sheet one on top of the other. Make sure that the whiteboard is on top and you flip the glossy side up. So a quick explanation with all these stoppers that I have, two top ones for the top of the crease, added these two here for your angles there and there, and added two at the bottom here for uh, push off near the post. These two stoppers here, six feet apart, not because of COVID, but because this is how wide the net is. Once you figured out your pattern, drop the pucks where you want them, measure them just to make sure that they're equal. After that, just grab a dry erase marker, circle the pucks, then remove the pucks so that your pattern is on the board. Once your pattern is on the board, you're going to grab a drill and a wood bit and you're going to drill a hole in the middle of the circle. We drilled one hole at a time. Once we were done the hole, we grabbed one of the flathead bolts, put it in from underneath and then put a puck on top, put a washer, grab one of the nuts and tighten it with a wrench. The reason why we did one hole at a time is because we didn't want the two boards to start sliding and then our holes would not match up. Then all you gotta do is repeat this for all of these pucks. Once you're done the whole board, you wanna clean the surface and then grab that silicone spray and polish it. You wanna make sure that you are careful with that silicone spray, it's very slippery. Um, you don't want it on your feet or on the floor. Before you can use the board, you need pad covers. This is the G1 Perfect Butterfly. I'll put the link in the description below if you want to order that. This pad cover here has an elastic at the top and at the bottom. It holds on pretty well to the pad. I have no issues with them. If you're wondering if they're worth buying, um, I like them. Before I bought the G1 covers, I was using two old pillowcases. I put a hole at the bottom and all I did was slip my foot through the hole and then I just pull the pillowcase over my pad and secure it with some tape. I almost forgot to let you know, you need this cupboard liner here. Put this under the board and it'll prevent the board from sliding on your floor when you're pushing off the stoppers. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions and I'll do my best to help you out in any way that I can. Hopefully this video was helpful and you were able to build yourself this nice sliding board. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please press the like button. And also if you want to see more goalie videos, just press the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So before I bought the G1 covers, I was using two old pillowcases. All I did was put a hole at the bottom. I slipped my hole in. <laughs> Hopefully this was helpful. No.
Hopefully this video Hopefully this video was helpful and you were able to build yourself your own sliding board. Hopefully this video was helpful and you were able to build your 